So our, our, our next speaker is uh, Dr. Rosa Rademakers, uh, who is a professor um, and a distinguished investigator at, at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, most of her work has evolved in identifying uh, novel genes as her program um, is heavily focused on uh, frontal temporal dementias, um, ALS, and early onset Alzheimer's disease. Um, she is uh, an extremely accomplished individuals, uh, individual. She uh, won uh, the Sheila um, SAALS Award, as well as the very prestigious Potomkin Prize for Neurodegenerative uh, Diseases. So we're going to hear a lot about um, her work, uh, focusing on identification of, of genes associated with dementias, um, including one that really uh, was a transformative uh, finding for ALS and frontal temporal uh, dementia, as it really explained um, the major cause for familial as well as sporadic um, ALS and frontal temporal dementia. Rosa. So I'm a geneticist, which means that I have a privilege to find genes for a living, and the diseases you heard um, that I'm most um, uh, kind of involved with and that has really followed me throughout my career is frontotemporal dementia or frontotemporal lobar degeneration. So what I thought to do today is to tell you a little bit about that, because you've heard about Alzheimer's disease, but I think it's it's a disease maybe that you know a little bit less about from the temporal dementia. So I'm going to tell you about the disease and, and kind of take you through um, the major gene discoveries that have taken place in the last two decades, which is three major genes for FTD. And um, as you'll see, the Mayo Clinic here in Jacksonville and also with our colleagues in Rochester have really contributed to that significantly. Um, so we've talked about Alzheimer's disease with Dr. Peterson, and I think most people, if you say, what do you know about dementia, the first thing they say is like, oh, Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's dementia, something that happens to old people, uh, something that you might associate with happening in your grandparents, and people forget things. That's kind of the basis for dementia. From the temporal dementia, is extremely dif different than that. I mean, people usually get the first symptoms when they're in their 50s and 60s. So this hits people when they're in the prime of their life, they're usually still working, they're active, and it has an impact not just on the patient, but on the entire family. And it's also not just memory deficits that these people have. Usually, the first symptoms in frontotemporal dementia is changes in personality, behavior. Um, we say that people become disinhibited, which means that they basically lose their filter. They start to say whatever they think. They act inappropriately. They might undress in public. They might pee in public. It's not uncommon for people to get in contact with law enforcement because they have psychiatric issues. And they just kind of lose the sense of normalcy and, and kind of do whatever they think, uh, and then they act on it. Um, sometimes people get uh, compulsive, repetitive behavior, so a lot of different